I just bought this house and I'm gonna give it to Chandler. Really? No. Bruh. Did a YouTube star just cure blindness? In this video, we're curing a thousand people's blindness. YouTuber Mr. Beast may not have found a cure for blindness per se, but he certainly helped a ton of people finally see clearly. Wow, you are pretty anxious. <laughs> Who would have thought you can rely more on the world's most popular content creator than the US healthcare system? In a video posted to his YouTube page, Mr. Beast unveiled a compilation of reactions from 1,000 patients after learning he was going to be paying for their cataract removal surgery. There's my watch. I've never seen it before. Oh. As surgeon Dr. Jeff Levinson explains in the video, yep. Half of all the blindness in the world is people who need a 10-minute surgery. Crazy. Yeah. That surgery involves using a tiny vacuum to essentially suck up a patient's cloudy lens and, as Mr. Beast recounted, Replace it with an artificial one. As the video progresses, we see a number of patients responding to their new found clear vision. Oh my god, man. And as cheesy as it sounds, it really is a sight to behold. See what I did there? Ha ha, laugh, funny. With the cataract surgery, so many of these patients are not only able to see now, but they can also go to work and do everyday activities. Just think about all the people who can sext now. For a number of these patients, Mr. Beast didn't just pay for their cataract surgery, but he even went so far as to provide gifts of $10,000 or more for various individual causes. One patient, Jeremiah, was given $50,000 to put towards college, while another patient, Satchel, expressed a desire to drive after surgery and was surprised with his very own Tesla. What? This is your brand new Tesla! Imagine Elon Musk doing anything this selfless. As for the question on everyone's minds, where did Mr. Beast get all this money? Well, before you assume he's some kind of Nepo baby or Mr. Teresa, the answer is quite simply advertising dollars. Mr. Beast's goal is to churn out as many viral videos as he can, and these videos easily gain ad sales worth tens of millions of dollars. Not to mention he also has plenty of other business ventures and channels from Mr. Beast Burger to Feastables. No matter what you may think of this business model, it's pretty amazing to see Mr. Beast raise awareness and, dare I say, visibility to this issue. I mean, this is coming from the guy who once posted a video of himself counting to 100,000 that somehow garnered millions of views despite the fact that he was literally just counting. 78,490, Let's also not forget when he went viral for recreating a real-life Squid Game competition, you know, minus all the murder. Have we seen influencers use their, well, influence like this before? Did he just do more for these patients than their healthcare system could? Should Mr. Beast run for office? I mean, if George Santos can do it, I don't see why not. Then again, just because you can doesn't mean you should. However, some would disagree about Mr. Beast's moral code. His blindness video has received tons of praise, but it's also sparked debate about the ethics behind his philanthropic facade. Some people found the thumbnail for the video to be particularly tasteless, while others have questioned his ultimate goal of profiting off these patients with yet another viral video. As for what's next for Mr. Beast, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens.